welcome back. I'm Mark Chase and this is Chase Your Taste. Hey, before we get started, if you hadn't already done so, push that little subscribe button down there at the bottom. That little bell lets you know when I post one of these videos. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to make homemade spaghetti. It's real easy, real simple. We're going to use uh, hamburger meat in our meat uh, sauce to make a meat sauce. So I've got my uh, I've got my spaghetti noodles. So what do you say we get to cooking? Okay, for our spaghetti, I'm going to cut up one onion. This is a medium-sized onion. I'm just going to cut it up in small, small pieces. Oop, making a mess. Making small pieces, and then we're going to cook this with the uh, with the hamburger. on a plate here. Grab another knife. That one feels like it's a little dull. Grab this other knife right here. Alright. Oh, that's, that's better. Oh, get back down there. And you don't want to cooperate. Alright. There we go, that's better. Alright, so we have our onion. And then we're going to mince four garlic cloves. Just take your garlic, smash it, and peel it. Just cut this little end off here. Cut off this side there. Right. Do that. Cut off there. Come on now. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Get off to the side. Now, spaghetti. I used to use spaghetti packets. But when I learned how to actually make the spaghetti sauce, it's uh, it's not that hard. Um, and it's really not that time consuming unless you're going to do it with uh, fresh tomatoes. Then it'll take longer. Uh, I'm going to use canned tomatoes. So, here we go. So, all right. Let me wash up. Well, let me wash up my hands real quick. I got my hands washed up. Some glasses on, so I can see what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna cut the finger. Ooh, there we go. So we're gonna take our garlic and just simply chop it up into small pieces. We're gonna mince it. Don't want to get minced up. But we're gonna get it. There we go. All right. So we got our garlic minced up. We got our onions chopped up. So let's start with our meat. So I got uh, a pound of meat over there ready to go in the in the pan. So let's go over to there and start cooking up our meat. All right, so we got our pan heated up. Get that out of the way. We're going to take about a pound of hamburger meat, put it down in our pot. Okay. 
Okay, to this, we're going to add some salt and pepper. Salt. Whoop. And some pepper. And I've got my water on for my pasta. All right, and then we're gonna throw in our onion. Stir it up. Oop, that onion tried to get away. We'll put it back on in there. So, we got this going. Now, like I said before, when I, when I was growing up, mom used to make spaghetti, and she'd always use spaghetti packets over in the uh, seasonings and everything. Comes in a little packet, and um, that's how I made it for years, and then I figured out how to make it the right way. And there it is, yeah. So, uh, I make it this way all the time. Um, you know, I'm going to fault you if you use the spaghetti sauce out of a jar. I do it every once in a while if I'm in a hurry. So, alright. So, we're going to let this cook up. And, uh, I'll show you what to do next. So we're gonna let this cook up. By the time the meat's done, the onions will be soft. So we'll return. So it looks like our meat's just about done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my garlic to it. So we'll add our garlic and we'll let it uh, cook up just a little bit. And then we'll take it over here and we'll put the meat in a strainer and strain all the grease out of it because we don't want a greasy uh, spaghetti sauce. Mm, you can smell that garlic. It smells really good. Alright, so I'm going to drain this and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got our hamburger meat drained. So to this, I'm going to add one can of diced tomatoes, one can of tomato sauce. Stir it up, get back in there. Oh, let some meat get away from me. Okay, I'm gonna turn the fire down. Okay, I'm gonna add about a half a can of water. about a quarter cup more. Stir it in there and we're going to start adding our seasonings. So if you have fresh seasoning, great. You know, uh, I don't have any fresh ones. I have dry seasonings. So to this, we are going to add some basil. Now this is my basil that I drew. Uh, uh, grew over the summer and uh, 
uh, dried it out. So we're going to add about a teaspoon of that. About a teaspoon of sage. Now we're going to put a yeah, about a teaspoon of sage. About a teaspoon of rosemary. Oh, that's a little bit much. Teaspoon of rosemary. Same with the thyme. A teaspoon of thyme. Stir it in. up to a boil and we're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes and we'll check our the salt and everything uh, in it so we'll be right back Okay, now that it's boiling, we're going to check, we're going to give it a taste, see what, uh, if we need anything. Get a spoon in here. Alright. Salt. Some more salt. Some more pepper. Here. And we're going to add some pasta noodles to our water. So we've got our water boiling. Add some salt to it first. Okay, so we're going to put some pasta in our pasta, or some spaghetti noodles in our pasta. Alright, so we've got our pasta in here. I'm just going to turn it a little bit. Put it down in our pot. Let that sit there a little bit. And then we're going to stir. No, perfect. That's good. So, all right. So we got our pasta noodles and into all water. So we are going to put a bit, put the lid back on it. To our tomato, to our tomato sauce. We're going to add a uh, small can. Now this is a uh, well six ounce can of got it upside down. Six ounce can of tomato paste. 
This is gonna help thicken up the pasta. Now, if you don't want your pasta don't uh, as thick, either um, don't use as much or don't use any at all. But I like my uh, pasta, uh, my spaghetti sauce to stick to my pasta. And this is the way mom used to do it, so I do that too. Alright, we got all that out of there. Alright. Get that stirred in. We're going to let this simmer. Once we get this stirred in, we're going to let this simmer for about 10-15 minutes. About that time, our uh, pasta will be done. And our garlic bread that I just put in the oven is going to be done. And we'll be ready to eat. Alright. So we've got all that stirred up. So we're going to let this simmer, turn this fire down just a tad, we're going to let this simmer, we're going to check on our pasta here in a, in a little bit, and uh, shouldn't be long before we're ready to eat. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I gave this a taste. Everything tastes really good on it. We got enough seasonings in it. We got enough salt and pepper in it. So our noodles are done. So we are ready to plate this up. So we get our plate. Get us some noodles here. here. Put some sauce on top of that. Alright, look at that. Some homemade spaghetti. So we are ready to give it a taste test. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I gave this a taste. Everything tastes really good on it. We got enough seasonings in it. We got enough salt and pepper in it. So our noodles are done. So we are ready to plate this up. So we'll get our plate. Get us some noodles here. Sauce. Get some sauce here. Get some sauce 
some sauce on top of that. All right, look at that. Some homemade spaghetti. So we are ready to give it a taste test. Okay, so we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of parsley on there. Give it a little bit of color. Add a bit of Parmesan cheese to that. Fresh Parmesan cheese. ready to eat. Grab us a fork here and we're ready to eat it. All right so let's give our spaghetti a try. There's our spaghetti. So we'll get a little bit of noodles there. Some spaghetti sauce. Mm. That's good. You can taste all that, all the seasonings in there. Well, keep it on the fork. Mm. That's good. Y'all need to give this a try. And uh, let me know what you think about it down there in the comments. And. Uh, Hey, don't forget to chase your taste. Mm. Let's put some goodies right there. Mm.